Hello, Leo, and welcome to your love reading for the week starting October 23rd, 2020. I'm uh, going to be starting with an Angel Answer Oracle card. Uh, pardon me, I don't look at it until the end. It either answers your question or it becomes a part of the reading. So here you got one. Now we're going to pull some tarot cards for Leo for love. Leo's love reading. Okay, some cards for Leo love. Can we get any cards for Leo? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Any other messages from this deck for Leo? And no more love messages? Any more love messages? Okay, I'll take that as a no. This deck is done. So right now we have the Four of Cups, which is a great offer that you're either manifesting or haven't seen. But we don't know yet. We haven't seen that. <laughs> Sorry, bad humor. Sorry, Leo. <laughs> By the way, if this resonates, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. Oh, and by the way, Leo, if it doesn't resonate, check your rising sign or your moon sign, but most likely your Venus sign because that would be uh, love-related. Any other cards for Lee? Oh, boy. That's way too many cards. Okay. So far, you've got the Empress. And this is, to me, is all that. So what I'm thinking is that you're feeling like whoever you're with, they are the Empress. That's how you see them. I mean, she's everything you could want, you know? And I think she is, or he is, that that's like the end all and be all of what you would want in a partner. Oh, any other cards for Leo for love? We just got four cards, all that. Three, two, whoa, and one. Okay, that deck's done. You got, ah, seven of cups. So this could say that, you know, let's see. Seven of cups, ace of pentacles, justice, could be a Libra involved, and the king of wands. So to me, this is, there's a, there's, somebody who you view as you're manifesting the empress or you have someone who you look at as the, the end all and be all of what you would want if you could have your perfect person. And to me, it looks like that you did have a choice and maybe you had too many choices or there was some confusion on whether to say, you know, I really want to be with you. You know, maybe there was some stumbling blocks in the relationship. Maybe there was, you know, something that made it a hard choice. And I say that because there are many things that people, you could not agree on some fundamental issue. There could be you live too far apart. It could be somebody's in school and somebody needs to move for a job. There's a million reasons why. And I would say this seven of cups is you contemplating all the reasons, you know, that you've manifested this perfect person. And now you're trying to decide, do I or don't I? put this offer and the offer is yes you're putting out the offer this is this is who you want to be with and then you have justice which justice could mean you're dealing with a libra or they could have libra in their chart it doesn't necessarily mean it's a libra person could be libra rising could be libra venus you know um with the king of wands could also be an aries could be another fire sign so leo could be dealing with another fire sign but this to me, this is very stable and this is very balanced. If you notice, justice has the scales <clears throat> and it's with a very clear mind and the king of wands, he knows, he knows. So I believe that Leo, you had, you manifested this person, you've got, you've weighed all the options and they are your ace of pentacles. That's what I think. So let's get an outcome card here. Can I get any outcome cards? Because to me, it looks like you know who you want and that's it. You made your decision. So can I get an outcome card for Leo? Seven. For love. Outcome card for Leo. Love, please. Five. Four. 
three, two, <laughs> and let's see. Any other outcome cards? Four, Leo, love. Three, two, and one. Yeah, that's this is it. Because you got the seven of rods and the king of pentacles. You made up your mind, you're not changing it, and you're willing to fight for this. This is you being willing to defend your decision. You really weighed this out, and this is it. This is your person. You're very staunchly, that's it. This is it. So if you're dealing with a fire sign, Leo, you are, that's it. This is your person. This is your empress or emperor even. Wonderful. So let's get you a Romance Angel Oracle card. That's Romance Angel Oracle card for Leo. I said that funny, didn't I, Leo? <laughs> a Romance Angel Oracle card for Leo. Don't forget if it doesn't resonate, check your rising and your Venus sign. Those They may be more appropriate for you. Five. Okay, if I don't get a card for you in the next three, I'm going to do the five shuffles and take the top. So three. That's too many. <laughs> Two. And one. Oh, we got somebody to flip. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. And you want to know what I have to say to that? Okay. Have you ever been in a relationship with somebody and it's kind of like, <sighs> to me, this relationship, this is very well thought out. And I think that you're able to create a new love because this is not somebody that you trifled with. This is someone who's very important. This is your gift from God. This is your four of cups. This is your empress. You know, this is, this is it. And to me, you may have loved them, but I don't think that new love always means a new person. Sometimes I can think it can be the different kinds of love. You know, like boyfriend, girlfriend in high school versus I'm ready to take the next step, which to me, the King of Pentacles and the Seven of Rods is like, I am fighting for you. That's it. This is my person. That, to me, could mean new love because you are a new person, you know? You are no longer this person who's just sitting under a tree, you know, looking like, you know, everyday guy kind of thing. You are now the King of Pentacles. You've moved up in the world. You've changed your status in the world. Um figuratively or mentally okay leo so and your angel answer oracle card is helpful people <laughs> now i find this interesting because i know some leos and i think that this is people being supportive this is not people necessarily helping you literally but these are people who are being supportive so while you were manifesting this perfect person and trying to weigh the good, the bad, and the, you know, what should I do and how should I go about this? And maybe you were talking to these people and maybe these are the seven people you were referencing, you know, and saying, what do you think? You know, I want to do this, but what do you think? And they helped you make a very good decision, you know, and that's when, and you become the king of pentacles because this is a solid decision that is supported by those who are around you. So can't get better than that, can you, Leo? So thank you very much for being here. Good luck, take care, and don't forget, thumbs up, subscribe, okay? <laughs> Bye, Leo.